Data security has been one of the points of contention with Genshin Impact for a while now, and it's hard to find concise answers on the internet since some of them can get buried under a ton of comments on forums. However, that said, the community and potential future players tend to ask a few similar questions that we'll try to answer here today. So here's a quick rundown of the main security topics with the game. One of the main concerns is the game's anti-cheat, which runs on a kernel level. This was the case with all other games that have such anti-cheat measurements, including Fortnite with its EAC, Rainbow Six Siege and its Battle Eye, and especially Valorant with its Vanguard. They are invasive to your system, but that makes them more effective when catching cheaters. Kernel level anti-cheats are running in ring zero of the protection rings on your device. Now, if you're not familiar with the topic, you're probably going, hey, I like your funny words, Magic Man, by now. The simplest translation to regular human language would be that protection rings act like hierarchies in security or intelligence organizations. Individuals have different security clearance, and the higher it is, the more access they have. In a similar fashion, anti-cheat software with ring zero access has the highest clearance possible. This makes it intrusive, but much more effective. Just like the controversy with Valorant's anti-cheat system, Genshin Impact used to run the software at all times when your machine is on. The anti-cheat persisted even if you uninstall the game, leading people to suspect it had malicious use as spyware. The developers changed the way it works on September 28, 2020. Now it should properly terminate when you're not in the game, and uninstalling it will get rid of the anti-cheat as well. That depends on your definition of safe. It's not any riskier than running Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, or Valorant, and these games have massive player bases already. Those who don't trust any software operating in Ring Zero will either have additional security in place or not play any of the aforementioned games, including Genshin Impact. Furthermore, Genshin Impact Terms of Service clearly state that some data will be collected. Now, whether you're comfortable with this fact or not is totally up to you to decide. As a reference, many other games and even websites are also pulling data when you use them. Almost every game these days has a share of controversies. Anti-cheat and privacy concerns are just a portion of those connected to Genshin Impact. The actual boycott campaign that is trending these days is because of Eula. She's a character in the game that unfortunately bears the name that's the same as the abbreviation for End User License Agreement, or EULA, which could cause some confusion. So there you have it. Now we hope that helped clear up some confusion and doubts that you may have had about Genshin Impact security questions. Now if you have any further questions, please let us know in the comment section below and we'll be happy to help out to the best of our abilities. And in the meantime, please make sure to head over to elker.com for much more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. Thanks a lot for watching, this is Sabriel and see you in the next video.